What's up guys, Jargens here today, got for you some Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles, using the plural of the word, because I have two today, two pretty quick matches that I actually really enjoy playing, so I figured I'd bring them to you. Uh, the first one's a multi-battle, I'm battling with Tyler, aka Retro Mushroom, and I'm battling in the one and only D-Blade, and uh, of course the one and only Morvo19. Um, uh, some things before we get into this, I discussed in my last video about having a 500 sub special. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that anymore. Like, the more I think about the idea, the more I want to put it into place. Um, the more I don't think it'll be a good video. So, if you have any suggestions of what a good special would be, leave them in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, so let's just get into the battle. Um, like I said, it's going to be Dean and Mulvone versus me and Tyler. I'm going to lead off with my Greninja, and Tyler is going to lead off with his Volcarona. Uh, Mulvone has his little cleft key over there, and uh, <laughs> Dean has Francisco, uh, the Hariyama, which is kind of a threat because I'm a dark type at the moment. But anyway, he's going to fake out me, uh, getting a, a small bit of damage on me. I actually take that surprisingly well. I figured it'll do a bit more than that. And then the Charizard dodges the, the Fire Blast quite skillfully. Uh, I'm scared of the, the close combat, so I'm going to switch out into my... Uh, more while at the same time getting a attack drop on both the Charizard and the Hariyama. Uh, Morvone takes the time to uh, Mega Evolve into his Charizard X, Mega Charizard X, uh, getting that Tough Claws thing and uh, much more powerful. And he goes for the Dragon Dance, which is very scary. Uh, I'm hoping more while what may be able to deal with it, but we'll have to see. As uh, Tyler actually pulls out the Psychic and hits uh, Francisco the Hariyama pretty hard <laughs> as uh, Hariyama goes for the Earthquake, gets a crit on the Charizard. <laughs> kills it, and because of the Intimidate drop, it can't kill the Morwile, and it definitely can't kill the, the, the Volcarona, which was fantastic. Oh my god, that was so funny. Um, right, I'm just going to take the time to Mega Evolve now. I believe I'm just going to go for the Sucker Punch, I think, to take out the Hariyama. I, no, I'll go for Play Rough. I'll go for something, but either way, the Klefki, uh, T-Waves the Volcarona. Oh yeah, I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch, take out the Hariyama, stop it from doing damage. And that gives Volcarona a chance to Fire Blast the Curve Key. Except not really because it gets paralyzed, which, oh my days, that's so unfortunate. And as uh, Dean brings in his uh, Arbok, the King, the Scorpion King, Dwayne and Rock Johnson. Um, and uh, this, is, <laughs> this is a horrible part for Dean. He's going to go for the call. He's at plus one defense. I'm at minus one attack. I'm going to go after the Foul Play uh, hits me. And doesn't quite kill me because of his Intimidate Trap. Well, my Intimidate Trap. I'm going to go for the Iron Head. I end up critting the Arbok. And just one shining it. Which is like, oh no, poor Arbok. And then uh, Tyler finally gets off his Fire Blast on the Clef Key. And that goes down. So me and Tyler are looking very strong at this point in time. Uh, Morwal is looking worse for wear with HP. But the Volcron is doing well even though paralyzed. As the Arena Clus and the, the Throw comes in. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch on the Arena Clus. It does a lot of damage as the Throw takes out the Volcrona with the Stone Edge. Uh, it's uh, pretty simple stuff. Volcrona going down unfortunately. It did good work. And uh, my Morwal unfortunately cannot take a Psychic. So last turn they had a double down. This turn we have a double down. Uh, he's going to bring in Broken, which is his Alakazam. I am going to bring in uh, my Mian Xiao. And uh, stuff going to get real. So uh, Alakazam's going to Mega Evolve. And uh, I'm just going to go for the bounce. <laughs> um, I I thought about this in my head a bit. And this was a really bad play on my part. I should have just U-turned. And gone, and gone against the Reunion Clus. So the Alakazam can um, go for Psychic on the front. And take that out. Instead of me doing uh, only a bit of damage with the bounce. Uh, and the Reunion Clus lives the energy ball which he goes for. So I actually kill the throw with the bounce. And so I have to, has to rely on Alakazam Psychic. Uh, I should have gone for the U-turn on... The reunion because it may not have killed, but it wasn't a lot of damage. And I, I think from the range of HP, it was that it could have killed. And then the Alakazanko just psychic and end the game there. So, um, quite a series of bad plays, probably on my part, really. Uh, but, you know, my man Chab does go down, but um, Greninja can come in and Alakazanko go for the Dazzling Gleam, take him out, and win me the game. So, yeah, that was, that was the first of the two battles. Now we head into battle numero two, and this is against Volvo19. Welcome back to the field. Uh, it's against John Origins. John Origins, uh, well, well-known player, has been very awesome. And then Volvo19, uh, also very awesome. Uh, but uh, on his team, it's just his standard team. The main threats are probably going to be the Reuniclus and maybe the Scissor and the Gengar. I feel like I can handle the Charizard X, the Clef Key, and the Rotom, as long as I get some players that go my way. And on my team, I actually have... Um, 
Mega Mora, which is fantastic. You saw that last game we did some work. Uh, Mian Chao is my choice guy for Greninja. Kind of asked for the Life Orb. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's, I might have left a bit too much time for this. But anyway, I believe we are going to go straight into the battle. We both have Reuniclus, which is cool. Reuniclus is a fantastic special attacker. As we are all aware with the Trick Room. Mine's an offensive Trick Room set, uh, max HP, max special attack with the Life Orb and Quiet Nature. Um, I think Morvones is a bit more bulky, but I'm not really sure on that. Uh, but I'm going to lead off with my Greninja. He's going to lead off with the Sizzle. I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump again. This will do a lot of damage, or it will kill. Uh, it doesn't kill, but I do a lot of damage, and I lose my Dark Typing, so this hit will, I believe it's only neutral, but it still takes me out with the crit, and I'm like, oh, Bugger. Oh, I just lost my Greninja for no reason. I feel like I could have lived a U-turn. Uh, even though Greninja is quite frail, but uh, we'll have... I don't know. It, it would have been close, but... I'm going to go into my Runiclus. Uh, I know I can take foul plays, except for he crits me again two times on the bounce. I'm going to go for the Focus Blast, luckily hitting it. And it doesn't quite take him out, which is unfortunate. Uh, Clef Key can either just go for another foul play and get some damage on me. Or it can go for the spikes and uh, hopefully help his team win uh, with some entry hazards. But um, I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball and take out the Clef Key. Uh, and yeah, it's a one. It's not really a threat out of the way. It's just stopping. I've just stopped him from getting up potentially three layers of hazards. And he, and he can't T wave my Pokemon effectively, which is great. Uh, he's going to go into his Gengar now. He's going to go for the Sludge Bomb. And that takes me out. I think he might be Specs. Uh, I, I weren't really sure if the Sludge Bomb would take him out. But either way, I'm going to go into uh, my Hydreigon. Uh, his nickname John Loves Men because Cody um, is this actually Cody's High Dragon while it's his Dino Egg and I asked him to nickname him something that's really bad against Cody because all my High Dragons are nicknamed something that's offending towards Cody but he decided to turn the tables on me but I decided to still use the High Dragon because it was pretty good and it manages to kill the Rotom with a Draco Meteor after we both missed one Draco and a Widow Wisp respectively. Uh, so I've taken out one threat. Uh, I've already lost my Greninja though, which uh, really sucks. I, I honestly think I'm at a bad position at the moment as he has free switch into Gengar. And I completely forgot about Dazzling Beam. I was like, I can take a Shadow Ball <laughs> or, or a Sludge Bomb or whatever he wants to go for. Or a Focus Blast uh, if he wants to miss. But no, he has the Dazzling Gleam and I look like a fool. But. Uh, this does warrant me a free switch into more while and later than gentlemen This is probably one of the best Pokemon in the mo at the moment in this uh, sort of Meta let's say that uh, Mega Mawile with huge power is so good uh, Look at this iron head this iron head with no boost does over half to a Charizard and that's a resisted hit um, He's just gonna mega evolve. I'm gonna go for the sucker punch and uh, the Charizard is not gonna be living uh, I was really at a bad position during the start of this game until Mega Morwell came onto the field. It's so strong. Once once you lose a counter to it, you've got no chance. I think his Clef Key might have done well against it. It could have T-waved and hoped for some hacks and stuff. It can't really hit me hard back, but it can still take some of my hits. Uh, so that's a thing. But either way, I'm just going to clean up the rest of his team now. I, I figure it would have been a lot closer if I didn't have... My Mega Morwell. As and that focus blast miss, I don't think that mattered. I think Morwell could have at least taken one. And so that wouldn't have mattered. I could just sucker punch anything really, so that's fine. Um, I was really tempted to not go for the sucker punch here, but uh, I wasn't gonna risk it. Uh, he could have had a sub, but I think I could have dealt with it. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be the game, people. And the end of the commentary, two battles for the price of one. I'm <laughs> so nice. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe. Check out everyone in this video. And I'm out, so peace.